welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and this is going to be an easy and elegant fall front porch decorate with me video. This is now our first, well this is our first fall in the new house and I am two months postpartum now. So I didn't get a chance to do all the fall shopping this year. So what I did is I improvised and I decided to go with traditional fall. So I took some picks and leftover garland and I actually made these wreaths. So you'll be seeing that in the video. And another thing is, is because it is a new house, uh, this front entryway does pose a few decorating challenges. One of them is we have double doors now and it's very close. The doors are very close to the walls. That was challenging. So hopefully this video will give you some good fall decorating ideas if you have a similar entryway as mine. So I hope you enjoy the video. This is the before of our front porch and what we're dealing with. I took away everything that was from spring, which I did do a spring front porch decorate with me. So I'll link that below in case you're interested. The first thing I did was make the wreaths for the front door. I had these great picks from Hobby Lobby and I also had some leftover garland. Now what I used these grapevine wreaths before originally was I put them on top of the urns and then put pumpkins on top of them. I decided to do something different this year, which you'll see later in the video, but I took these grapevine wreaths, I just stuck the picks in them. That's a good thing about this is you don't even need to hot glue them on and you can see they turned out pretty well. And then I did didn't show it, but I did find the garlands and so, and I did glue those on. Then what I did was I moved over to the big urns that we have on either side of the large archway, but I took out the previous topiaries. We took a trip to Rosemary and they died. <laughs> so kind of worked out. I needed to build it up a little bit further. So I just stuck some paper bags on top of there and then I put the plastic on top of that and what the plastic does is it protects the pumpkin so it doesn't rot and we put the pine cones then around the pumpkin I, I always keep a box of pine cones I love pine cones use them for so many different things we put the pine cones on and then the pumpkin on top and that really kind of filled in around the pumpkin then here we are doing the other side and you could tell I have a little helper but I mimic the same thing on the other side. We have not done any landscaping to the house yet, so I look forward to doing that. You could probably tell in other aspects of this video, but I've already been experimenting with the pillow covers on this bench. This bench I got from Walmart, by the way, and I love these uh, scalloped pillow covers. Those are from Ballard Designs. So what I'm going to do is I'll link everything to my entryway that I can down below for you in case you're interested. But I already had these Buffalo Check pillow covers from Amazon. So I just went ahead, swapped out the pillow covers. And even though I'm not super crazy about Buffalo Check anymore, there is a timeless element to it and it does say fall and I already had them. So then here I am hanging the fall wreaths. Now what's interesting is I did get wreath hooks for these doors, but they were too short because these are actually nine foot doors. So I ended up just putting command hooks on top of the doors and it worked great. It's very humid here in South Florida. Command hooks have not fallen off yet. These are actually a leftover vine that I had that I just hot glued around the wreaths, which made making the wreath super easy. Now we're moving on to decorating on either side of the front door. And I got this wire cat from Target years ago, and I just wrapped him with some lights and some fall ribbons that kind of tied in the, the fall vibe. And I love having that glow right there. The other thing I did was incorporate some of my blue and white pots and I have that garden stool. And the reason I did that is because the door is blue and I really wanted to incorporate a little bit more, especially because blue and orange are contrasting colors. So it makes each other's pop. So incorporating some of my blue and white, it really just tied everything together. So that's why I did that. We got these mums from Whole Foods. We just got a couple of them. Um, I didn't want to be watering a ton of mums this year. So we just got two to see how it went. So far we, we did soak them in a bucket of water for like a day and that's been keeping them alive. So now I'm just watering them a little bit at a time and it's working. We got a couple big pumpkins along with the mums and then I got a few smaller pumpkins and the whole goal here was to put them together in groupings so that it looks 
bigger and makes more of an impact and I put it in order from the tallest to the shortest and just try to group them all together so it looked like a little collection and it it made the statement and the impact that I wanted it to. On this windowsill, my brain was exploding of different ideas that I can do. One of them, it's a flower box, but that's for the future. So I just decided to take these little pumpkins and just line them up. And I love lining up pumpkins. I think it adds quite the impact. It screams fall. I like the way it looks and it's so easy yet elegant. The last thing I did was take those little mini cinnamon brooms and I tucked them around the mums and the pumpkins. So now it smells like fall when people enter too. So always, always incorporate that fall smell. And voila, we have our fall front porch.